music can inspire, motivate, or convey a powerful message to the audience. It can be a beautiful experience across devices, be it your headphones, desktop speakers, or even your crazy home theater setup. However, the actual way people consume content has changed, moving from physical media to streaming services like Spotify, Pandora, SoundCloud, 8Tracks, and even YouTube. All of these provide super convenience and access to an enormous collection of albums, but unfortunately, in many cases, quality has suffered. I have my own collection of flag files that I enjoy listening to on my PC, but wireless in-home listening is slowly starting to gain momentum. Name Audio has been around for almost 40 years in the hi-fi industry, and in our quest to explore unconventional audio products, we wanted to step out of our comfort zone to experience their Muso wireless music system that carries with a wallet black hole an astronomical $1,500 price tag. We may as well start at the top, right? Now, before you start rolling your eyes at this price, remember that Name is targeting their Musa towards people who aren't happy with the audio quality provided by lower cost streaming devices. This is a niche market, but it can't be overlooked. So it's clear that the Muso is a premium class luxury sound system that is not afraid to cater to a particular type of consumer. And I'm approaching this video from an experience angle. That means I absolutely love listening to music in my spare time and quality does matter. So let's see what it means to own one of these right after a message from our sponsor. Introducing the new OCZ VX500 solid state drives from Toshiba. It offers great, well balanced speeds built with MLC NAND flash for superior endurance and is also backed by a five year advanced warranty program. Learn more about the VX500 at OCZ.com. Crafted in a wooden speaker cabinet, which is then wrapped in anodized brushed aluminum, this is one gorgeous looking product. And let me be clear, the Muso at its core is a wireless music system and it's intended to be used as such. It's not meant to compete with wired two speaker setups. Instead, Name Audio is banking on the convenience and elegance of the soundbar to fit in certain environments. While wireless streaming is the primary focus here, Name has still provided a reasonable IO with an optical SPDIF jack, ethernet port if you wanna hardwire the system to a network, a standard 3.5 millimeter stereo jack and a USB port for connecting your mobile devices. Supported file formats are plenty with 24 bit up to 192 kilohertz with maximum 48 kilohertz in wireless mode. And the Wi-Fi signal is limited to 2.4 gigahertz band. That last point is particularly important since the Muso will detect five gigahertz network, but it won't be able to connect to them. All those antennas are seamlessly integrated into the chassis. So an external antenna isn't required. The Muso's design is meant to blend seamlessly into any environment. It has a rectangular shaped soundbar sitting on top of a thick, solid acrylic base with an illuminated name logo that can be dimmed through the app. You'll probably decide against that though, since it looks amazing in the dark. The anodized brush aluminum complements the high-end price, uh, giving the entire thing a premium feel. It also weighs a ton. If you want a bit more personalization, the front grille can be customized with three options like deep blue, vibrant red and burnt orange, which looks unique, but are $85 a piece. There's also a Bentley branded version in a beautiful light metallic brown that would perfectly fit into your million dollar postmodern house. If you need a smaller, more compact setup, Name also offers the newer Muso QB, which we'll be taking a look at very soon. The passive heatsink is located at the back to cool the drivers and internal electronics, so make sure to provide adequate room for ventilation. This may seem odd for anyone used to other wireless speaker setups, but we have to remember the Muso is built with high-end audio components, all backed up by an advanced 32-bit signal processor, and all of that causes heat. That DSP is a key component of the Muso ecosystem. It's capable of taking poor quality signal, which is usually the case with wireless streaming audio, and upsampling it so the sound you hear is less cluttered by noise. Poor audio quality is a hallmark of streaming audio and Name has worked out a way to bypass many of those issues so their system can shine. The circular capacitive touch interface at the top is wrapped around by a volume ring. The dial's movement is perfectly smooth without any resistance for fine tuning, volume levels, and it's also lit up by an ambient white LED. Like everything else about this thing, it's the subtle touches that work so well. Powering the system requires just a touch of the power button or opening the accompanying Name app, there are also options to play, pause, and skip tracks. Right beneath, you'll find an iRadio option, which allows for the cycling between six station presets that can be customized through the app that I'll get to in a moment. 
Inputs can be changed by the icon beside the iRadio option that switches between the 3.5mm analog source followed by USB and finally digital source. All this can also be done over the included remote too. After seeing how great the Muso itself looks and feels, the remote is a bit of a disappointment and unfortunately lacks design cohesion with the speaker. There are six drivers altogether and each of them is powered by a dedicated 75 watt digital amplifier. So in total, you're looking at a power output of 450 watts, which is astonishing considering the form factor. There are two large custom base drivers complemented by an outlet at the end, which is designed to move large volumes of air with low turbulence for richly textured, low distortion bass. You've also got a couple of silk dome tweeters and finally two fairly large mid-range drivers to give vocals a sense of definition. So overall, the Muso packs some serious punch under the hood. The Muso supports UPnP, AirPlay, standard Bluetooth streaming, Bluetooth with the aptX coded by the way, Tidal and Spotify Connect. Spotify Connect is actually what I use to perform testing since it provides higher sampling rates than standard Bluetooth protocols and there aren't many options with the aptX codec. Now, if you decide to invest into another Muso speaker like the QB, you can pair them together through the app and start listening to the same music across the speakers or you can individually control them. You can pair up to five of these. The complementing app is available for both Android and iOS and it is mandatory in order to initially set up the speaker system. Once you go through the pairing process, which takes about five to 10 minutes, and I actually had a bunch of problems with this since the Muso continually tried connecting to the unsupported five gigahertz on my router. On the home screen, you can switch between inputs and the iRadio presets or select a supported wireless streaming mode. For example, when you click on Spotify, it will open a control panel, but you will have to separately launch Spotify and ultimately control the Muso from there. It automatically detected the soundbar under the devices list, and for most part, it worked perfectly, but there were a few random signal losses every now and then which required me to reconnect. The settings tab is pretty straightforward. It allows you to set an alarm clock, turn off the lighting, and a few other minor adjustments. The loudness setting is important too, since it extends the speaker's dynamic range when music is playing at lower volumes, and it works really well. The disappointing factor with this app is that it kept crashing occasionally and froze my phone every now and then. It could be the lack of memory management on Android's latest operating system, Nougat, so I'm hoping a software update would fix this issue. This isn't something I would expect from a speaker system that costs so much. I set up the Muso in my living room on a desk which is the perfect fit for a space of this size and my god, it sounds phenomenal. Since this is a directional type of speaker, positioning is important. I would spend some time experimenting with different spots if you have the space since sound quality can vary. With that being said, the Muso has the capability to fill a room with pure sound. I've been listening to a lot of trance music lately and on this system, the bass sounds so tightly controlled. It's nearly perfect and doesn't take over the highs. The result is fantastic clarity in every single element of the soundstage. You can hear instruments that make the slightest contribution to the overall composition and it allowed me to rediscover key parts of my music library. And I wanna be clear about this. Despite its size, the Muso is the best wireless speaker system I've come across. Not only has name given it a ton of power, but that power comes out in the best manner possible without any emphasis on one particular audio element. There's fantastic resolution, full body sound without any distortions, and a finely controlled frequency range which is expected from such a luxury speaker. Secrets of the Goddess, which is a soundtrack from Far Cry 4, fell lively, while classic hits like Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 in C minor exhibited an outstanding soundstage. Trust me, when you start playing a track from start to finish, it sounds full, and I have yet to experience something better than this. There are times you'll just want to close your eyes and listen again to your favorite song while completely forgetting it's streaming wirelessly. Why don't we take a listen, but remember, my microphone just can't pick up the nuances being displayed here.
The Muso from Name Audio is a testament to British engineering and I truly consider it to be a fantastic wireless audio system for my living room. For $1,500, there's some people who will of course critique the price and that's understandable. However, for someone who puts value into sound quality, the Muso feels like one of the best options available. Name has nailed my expectations with outstanding sound quality, beautiful design, and most importantly, the convenience of wireless music listening. The minor software issues aren't a big deal to be honest because you're going to be spending the majority of time using Spotify, AirPlay, or your stock music player to stream your favorite tunes. If you happen to find one at a local music store, do not hesitate to give it a try. The Muso is an incredibly expensive speaker, one that leads you to hope that someday it deserves a spot in your home. Oh hey there, NCX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by their weekly deals. FYI, Black Friday is coming. Visit ncx.com for all them sweet deals. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Name Audio Muso Music Wireless System. Uh, if you have any suggestions for us to try out different audio brands for in-home listening, uh, let us know in the comments down below. I'm Ibar with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.